Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and got a fairly short video for you today, but I wanted to revisit the President Randy FCC as I had a couple new things to show you, some exciting things to show you. First off, though, I did do a test for the battery. I turned it on at 9 p.m. in the evening, uh, turned up the squelch so there's no volume coming out, and I left it on, came back out at 9 a.m. in the morning, still on. It was still on at 12 at midday and then one between one and two o'clock I left and then I came back at 2 30 and it was dead so I'm going to say 15 hours receive only uh, I did a transmit test as well where I was trying to transmit for 30 seconds every five minutes I did it for a couple hours and then I just got bored uh, of doing the test so I would say this is an all-day radio with the battery no problem and that's about the extent of my real world testing for the battery part now the exciting part is I did get into the menu for the service menu. There are no adjustments inside this uh, for adjusting modulation or power or anything else, but there are adjustments in the software inside the radio. And these are used by the factory to set the radio where it needs to be. Uh, I saw some guys in Europe got into the AM FM version over there. I'm gonna show you the version here. Be warned, Anything you do in this menu could void your warranty, screw up your radio, ruin your radio. So you need to have proper test equipment if you're going to be messing around with this. I like to show you guys everything, though, because it's really cool to be able to do some of the things with this radio. It's a little bit more than we thought was in there. First of all, you need the equipment. I kind of did a temporary setup here. I've got my oscilloscope. I've got a portable meter I set up. I was able to put it on top here, so we should be able to see. Uh, this has a 20-watt scale down on the bottom here, so we're going to use that. This is pretty accurate meter, I would say, and it'll be easy for uh, this purposes to work. And what I've done is I've run a... Uh, coax adapter out the top which comes with the radio hooked up my coax that's running into a demodulator running into the oscilloscope and then the other end is running into the meter running into the dummy load so I can show you the service menu and we can see some of the readings first I will turn off the radio and I'll show you how to get into this you have to press the ANL and the scan button at the same time while you turn on the power and you'll see these purple menus come up the first one is the power high. That is for setting your high power dead key or carrier. The next option is your power low for setting your low power. Now from the factory, mine did three watts in the high power, does one watt in the low power. In here you can change it and I'll show you how, but you could change it to say a half watt on low and two watts on high or one watt on low and four watts on high. You can go up to five watts. I don't recommend trying to jack up the output on it because that's going to create heat. It's going to drain your battery and you're only going to get a one watt difference and it's really not worth it. So I would advise not really messing with this a whole lot uh, unless you wanted to do some low power QRP and try and see how little you can contact someone with. You could turn it down to a half watt or a quarter watt and see if you could talk to someone. That might be kind of fun. The next option is your AM modulation for low, I believe, and I'm guessing on all of these because I'm just experimenting, but this is the next two are for modulation. This is for your low power modulation. This is for your high power modulation. And I'm just scrolling through these with the menu uh, or with the channel selector. And this is telling you your version number, and then it just goes back to the high power. So now I'm gonna show you the menu about how this works. <clears throat> if you're in this mode and you press on the push to talk button, and I'll light this up, you'll see a number. This number says 322. My radio might be different than your radio because each one of these is set by the factory. So the factory goes in and every radio is a little bit different. So they might go in and look at yours and go, okay, this one needs to be at 323 because they're adjusting it for output wattage on the meter. So when I press on this, you'll see this number 322. And on the meter here, it's showing me three watts of output. If I make this number go down, my output wattage goes up. We're actually moving the needle. We're up to five watts on the meter there. If I make this number go the opposite direction, you'll see the power is now at one watt in the high power mode. You can also see our carrier envelope here on the uh, oscilloscope change. So. That's kind of neat to be able to see both of those. So I'm gonna bring my power back up to three watts. So as this number goes down, uh, power goes up. As the number goes up, 
power goes down. So if I go all the way to the three, you'll see my power is now at five watts. Again, you can see my envelope there. And if you hit one more, it drops down to basically nothing and it just scrolls back and you can just go through those numbers. So anyway, I'm gonna move this back to three watts. And this is why you need the equipment to be able to set it. And that's how you would do it. It works the exact same in the low power mode. If this number goes down, power goes up, number goes up, power goes down. Now, the AM modulation. Uh, I'm gonna do this in the high power setting since I already adjusted my oscilloscope for this. So we're at three watts, and I want you to remember that because you'll see um, the difference here. And if I am in this AM modulation high power setting I key up, you'll see, you can see a little bit of modulation on the meter there as I'm talking. And 109 is my setting, I'm at three watts. Now I'm gonna hold this up to my mouth and talk. And on the meter, we're at three watts. Audio, one, two, three, audio. I can hit five watts with the whistle. My modulation uh, isn't anything extreme here on the uh, oscilloscope. With the whistle, you can see I'm at like 85% or so modulation. Uh, for 100%, we'd need to see this hitting up here at this line. So we're not quite at 100%. So what we would do is we would go into this setting and we would adjust this number down to increase our modulation or we would move it up. So I'm gonna go back out of this and I'm gonna key up and talk so you guys can hear it on the speaker here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, audio test. So that's the speaker. You're listening to the audio coming through the other radio. I'm gonna go back into the menu. And this is was at 109, remember, on our modulation. I'm gonna lower this number and I'm gonna drop it down to 50. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the radio off, that saves the setting. I'm going to turn the radio back on. Now what you'll see is if I key up here, I'm at 3 watts. Audio. Audio. One, two, three. You can see the needle is swinging up past 5 watts, whereas before it was barely even tickling 5. So I now have more swing on the meter. And on the oscilloscope, you're seeing there's a lot more modulation. I'm actually seeing some flat topping. You can see we're actually over 100% modulation there. You can see the waveform wasn't looking as pretty. Uh, obviously, if I had a nice tone, I could do that, but it just makes a lot of noise on the video, so I'm not using a tone. Uh, you can hear it's louder through the speaker. Uh, hopefully, you can tell the difference that the uh, audio is louder coming through on the speaker as well. That is how you would adjust your modulation, and that is why you need the equipment to know what to do uh, on your setting. But anyway, if you wanted to go back and adjust that, remember you press down the ANL noise blank and the scan, radio comes on, I can go into that high power setting and I'm gonna set it back and we will put it back about 80 and uh, we can test that out there. So anyway, I wanted to show that to you guys. I thought that was pretty exciting and just a neat one to be able to adjust that and to be able to see the audio come up even louder on this and to have it a little bit more uh, output come out on the uh, radio, or sorry, on the meter with the swing there. Uh, just, just really neat. It, it's such a cool radio. I really hope you guys get a chance to try one out. Um, like I said, it's a little bit pricey, but it's one of those things you hold on to. And again, President Randy FCC, take care, cbradiomagazine.com.